Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. In this brief tutorial I'm gonna show you how to get going with Breath of the Wild on your Steam Deck. In my last video I showed you in my updated tutorial how to set up emulators and add your games. And in that specific video I even added my Wii U games. One of those games was the critically acclaimed masterpiece The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now chances are that you have followed my guide and transferred your dump of Breath of the Wild onto your Steam Deck just to be greeted with this annoying message when trying to start it. In this video I will show you how to get rid of it and also how to get the game running as smooth as possible. Let's jump into it. The first thing we need to do is to get the necessary files from our PC or wherever we have it stored onto our Steam Deck. As always when it comes to retro games, ROMs and even your own game dumps, there isn't really anything I can say to you about where you can get them. You either dump your own files from your own bought version of the game or you can hope for someone on Google or Reddit to help you find what you need. Anyway, you're on your own to find the files you need. What I'm transferring onto my thumb drive right now is the DLC and the game update for Breath of the Wild on Wii U. I'm also transferring my shader cache for that game, which will make the game run a lot smoother since it won't have to compile the shaders again now that we provide already compiled shaders. Maybe that doesn't make any sense to you at all, but all you have to know is that the game will load stuff faster and you will get less hiccups in the game by preloading your shader cache. Now the real time for this is obviously gonna be a lot longer, but once it's done, pop your USB out of your PC and put it into your Steam Deck. Now as I said, this is how most of you will experience Breath of the Wild for the first time on your Steam Deck. I get questions both on Reddit and YouTube on how to fix it, and while I agree that it's quite annoying, it's actually very easy to fix. As you know, I have both the update files as well as the DLC and shader cache on my thumb drive here. So all we have to do is to stick it into our Steam Deck, open up Simu, which you will have to add as a non-Steam game and run in compatibility mode using Proton 7.0.2 to make it run by the way. Once you figure that out, go to File, then Install Title Update or DLC and find your external USB in the top drop down menu. Oh, and if you get the virtual keyboard up as I do, just hold your Steam button and click X and it will go away. On my Steam Deck the USB is located under G and I will start by installing the Breath of the Wild DLC content. So all I have to do is to go inside that folder, go into the Meta folder and double click the meta.xml file. After a few seconds the installation will start, so sit back and relax while Simu installs the DLC content for you. Once done you will get a success message indicating that everything went like planned. Now do the exact same thing with your game update files instead. Once that is complete we have to do two more things before we can get this game to run as smoothly as possible. First right click on your game and choose edit graphic packs. Then click on the button saying download latest community graphic packs. By doing this you get all types of enhancements and workarounds for your game. Even sheets should you want that. What you want to do next is to head inside the mods tab in the left menu, enable FPS++. This is crucial to get the game running above 20 FPS. You won't get a solid 60 FPS in this game no matter what you do, but it will stay above 40 FPS most of the time, which is night and day difference even to 30 FPS. I actually enjoy this game more on my Steam Deck than on my Nintendo Switch. Lastly you can also go into the graphic menu and select low on shadow draw distance as I just did here. Just remember to tick the box as well which I forgot while filming. Right, last thing to do before we can play the game is to put our shader cache in the right folder. Go to your thumb drive and copy the .bin file from the shader cache folder. Open the SD card, mine is named primary, then go into emulation, then ROMs, scroll down to Wii U, And here we have a shader cache folder. Open that up and go into transferable and paste the file. Now you're all set. 
head back into your Steam Deck's gaming mode and launch the game from there. If you have done everything as I did here, you won't get any more annoying error messages. You will have all the DLC content and the game will run even better than it would on your Nintendo Switch. How cool is that? And that's also been it for this tutorial on how to launch and get the best out of Breath of the Wild on your Steam Deck. It's gonna be a magnificent experience, so please enjoy. If you like this tutorial, please let me know by giving it a like or a comment, and if you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching.